Hey guys, and welcome back to otro episodio with Yasmin Isaguirre. As you guys can see from the title, then you guys know that I am starting a new little series here on my channel called Recreating Local MUA's Work. I don't know. If you guys see the title, it's because I came up with something that's kind of rough. I really don't know what I'm going to name it, but it's a little series where I make a video of a certain MUA that is here in my area because there's so many girls that I know that are so talented and do amazing work and I kind of want to showcase their work in my videos so I am gonna make a video on a particular person and kind of just recreate one of their looks showcase them talk about them a little bit more give you their information so you guys can follow them as well because it's 2019 honey and we are here to lift each other up and help everybody so that we can all be successful because there's enough room for everybody to grow and for everybody to you know just get out there and for today's video i did choose to do Alyssa pago if you are here in the grand rapids wyoming area here in michigan you might know of her you might not i don't know why you wouldn't but if you don't that's what i'm here for so that you guys can go and follow her follow her work because she's honestly super talented and like she's just amazing with it if you guys want to see how i created this look or how she created this look then you go ahead and you keep on watching so to start off this look we are actually gonna go ahead and take this little pink color right here like excuse my ugly ass nails like i took off my acrylics and these look so bad but, and we're gonna go ahead and take this morphe m433 so as you guys can see it, this is very pigmented and right off the bat from looking at her picture i really can't tell if she has a transition shade which she probably does but we're actually just gonna go right in with the first color that I see which is I believe this little pink color so right from looking at the picture as well I see that she has the eyeshadow in this kind of like a half circle so we're gonna go ahead and apply the pink in a half circle as well so after taking this hot pink right here we're gonna go ahead and slide right next to it and this is a cranberry color it's very pretty we're gonna go ahead and take our morphe m514 and this is a smaller uh blending brush and we're going in with that color right in the crease this is again going to be a half circle Going back in with the hot pink on our bigger brush to kind of just tie all of this together. And now we're going to go ahead and take some of our Makeup Revolution concealer so we can go ahead and cut the crease. Again, from her picture, I do see that she, I believe, she cut it all the way into a half circle as well. So I'm taking... You already know our Morphe M167 brush. This is like the perfect brush to cut the crease. If you don't already have it in your collection, I highly recommend that you get it. We're gonna go ahead and literally like just start cutting that crease. So now for the second part, we are going to go ahead and use this dark purple right here. So first I'm going to go ahead and take this color and apply it on the outer part of the eye. Let's go ahead and start with that because I'm also going to be adding a little bit of black, but I will tell you when. So now I'm taking Morphe M507, which is a smaller, as you, as you guys can see, it's a smaller pencil brush with that dark purple. And we're going to go ahead and focus that color just on the lid, but on the outer part of the lid. So literally, I'm just taking some of this dark purple. And you want to make sure you kind of buff it into the crease a little bit. Not too much because on her picture, it seems to be that it's just inside of that uh, half cut crease that she is adding the color. It doesn't seem to be too much that she is feathering it out. 
show we're trying to be as accurate to the picture as possible now one thing that i did notice was this is purple like it's a dark purple it's very dark but on her picture it looks a little darker so i went back in with the same brush but i tapped on the black shadow a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and apply that just over top to make this purple a little bit more intense and darker just like hers appears to be Alyssa, if you're watching this and you're like girl that is not what i did at all i'm so sorry i'm literally trying to uh, recreate this as much as i can but it's so hard when i don't have a lot of these colors as you guys can see i'm just slightly slightly buffing it into the crease just so it looks a little bit um diffused not too much but not exactly like a half circle just a little bit you see that we're taking this orange right here which is called drinks literally it's called drinks with an a we're just taking a little fat, uh, flat brush like this now i just want to go ahead and cover this uh lid space that we have left over i want to cover it with a coat of orange because we are going to be adding some glitter on top and just in case we have any empty spaces we want there to be some color underneath so it doesn't look patchy taking some of this nyx glitter glue and this little flat brush right here i'm gonna go ahead and cover the orange with some of this glitter glue all over the lid So now for the glitter, I am using this Orbit Orange. This is from superglitters.com. This is one of the things that I was a little bit disappointed in because it's not the glitter that she is using. Um, so on top of it being like an orangey color, it all, it's also a holographic glitter. So you already know how holographic glitters work. However, this was as close as I was going to get to um, that orange that she had right there. So now going back in with the uh, cranberry color, I'm simply going to go ahead and kind of emphasize the cut crease. Just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I'm literally just emphasizing it a little. Alright guys, so I was able to get through the eyes. Honestly, getting through these eyes was like so nerve-wracking because I wanted to recreate this look as good as I could. Obviously, Alyssa didn't have a video on this, so I wasn't able to see exactly what she did, what color she used, like what order she went in, how did she blend. I wasn't able to see any of that, which is the hardest part of trying to cre recreate a picture. You kind of just have to try to recreate it from like the colors that you see and try to recreate it as good or as best as possible. This is not that bad. Honestly, the thing that kind of is throwing me off is the orange. Her orange was a little bit more bright orange. Mine's is more of this like corally orange because I didn't have an orange glitter. Now, how many times did I say orange? I don't freaking know. But I just want to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and continue with my makeup because I do have foundation, but me miro como un pinche huevo right now. Like, I have no dimension in my face. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal and contour. All right, so really quick, we're going to go ahead and highlight the face with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Sand. Like I mentioned, Alyssa Pago is such a good makeup artist. Honestly, I have no idea when it is that I started following her i don't know i i want to say it was maybe like two years ago a year or two ago um i don't think Alyssa knows this Alyssa, if you're watching this which i hope you are but i don't know if you know this but i believe we went to middle school together i remember you but like not i'm not exactly sure i want to say it was you like i literally want to say it was you but i don't think we had any classes together so that's the only reason why i'm not 100 percent sure and when I found you, when I found your makeup page, I was just like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I went to school with this girl. Um, so for all of you who are watching, if you are from the GR 
area from here michigan gr if you're from here i hope that you know who she is and i would believe that you would know who she is if you're into makeup of course um if you don't know who she is obviously i'm gonna be linking her information below so you guys can follow her um i feel like she took a little bit of a break but she has been posting a lot more now which is amazing because you know she shouldn't like you should never stop girl she is so good at what she does and every time she comes back she always comes back like hard like she always does an amazing job I wanted to start the series to kind of showcase the local makeup artists around my area, people that like live close by, because you are you deserve to be shouted out. Like it's just, and I don't even have a big platform. Like I don't, like not at all. Like I have like 300 subscribers, and I love all 300 of you. Like I love you guys so much, but so I don't have like this big audience where you know I'm sorry, like. You know, me giving you a little shout out on my video is not gonna probably do much because like, I'm pretty sure you have like way more followers than me and all of that. And so now to keep this video a little bit more interesting, I did send, obviously I did talk to Alyssa. I asked her if it was okay that I was gonna do the series, if it was okay for me to do a video of her because I didn't wanna just do a video about her with her makeup and maybe her not be okay with it you know you always have to like ask permission you guys can't be putting people out there if they don't want to you know um but i did ask her permission and i asked her a few questions so you guys can kind of get to know her a little bit more it was also uh, a way for me to get to know her all right so the first question that i asked her was how long ago did you start doing makeup you know how long ago what started you and her response to that question was i started almost three years ago i got into makeup because of youtube it inspired me a lot seeing people create their own art and express themselves throughout makeup so i tried it out myself and fell in love with it yes i know a lot of people you know that is how they get into makeup because of youtube back i know when i started doing makeup it was because of youtube and youtube wasn't a big thing but yeah that was her response like so she started three years ago which i don't think i was following her three years ago i think it was barely two years or a year and a half ago that i started following her um but her work is amazing and i can definitely see that you know her growth i don't know how she was when she first started because again i didn't start following her then um but as of right now like she's amazing like she does so good just like you know i aspire to have her talent because she's really good like her blending skills i wish i could ask her and i am gonna ask her when i get a chance how she blends because that was one of my things here i was like am i blending good like and um i noticed that i don't really know her style too much but i did notice that uh, a lot of her looks are kind of this half cut crease which i'm all for i used to do that a lot back then but the second question i asked her was why did you start makeup what kind of yeah why did you start makeup her response was, I love creative makeup. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and random things. That is very true because of this look, I saw that she was inspired by a jellyfish picture, which again, I will try to post here so you guys can see where she got her inspiration from. And as a makeup artist, that is kind of what you do. Like, that's how you get your ideas by pictures, um, you know, like objects that you see, like, Especially when you are more into the creative side, you kind of have to get your ideas from different stuff. That's what she does, and I feel you, girl. I do the same thing. Once you guys go and add her, <laughs> and you guys look through her feed, you will see that a lot of her pictures are, um, like if you swipe, you'll see her inspirational pictures of how she did that makeup look. And it's All right, guys, so I'm quickly baking my cara because like we need to get this contour snatched because hers looks pretty snatched. And um, I want to go ahead and finish off the eye because I know it looks kind of done, but I need to do the bottom lash, the bottom lash line, and the inner corner. All right, so for the inner corner, I'm taking my Carly Bible and I'm taking this white highlighter right here. It appears to be that she has like a very bright inner corner, so I'm going to go ahead and take this in the inner corner right here. Do you see that? Oh my god, that looks so good. Do you see that? Ooh, that looks good. 
that looks real. So just to finish off the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and back into the 35B palette. I'm taking the cranberry color once again. And we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take this like it's a little pencil brush. We're gonna go ahead and take this little pencil brush right here and we're gonna go ahead and just swipe some of this color in the bottom lash line. Ooh, it ain't looking too bad. I don't know, girl, I don't know what your plans are with makeup. I don't know if you were ever thinking of doing a YouTube channel or even, I don't know. I don't know what your plans are, girl, but I just really, really encourage you, encourage you to continue with whatever it is that you're gonna do with makeup because you are very good. You are amazing, you are so talented, honey. Keep it up, please. <laughs> please keep it up because you're doing amazing. Things. All right, so what else do I have to do? What else does she have? So now, um, because I'm looking at her little picture right here, like look at how good she looks. Like, can you guys see her? Her skin looks amazing. Like, yo girl Jasmine don't got this kind of skin really, but um, yeah, she just like, her skin looks so good here. I'm trying to see, it doesn't seem to be that she has any blush. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that Which you're is kind of, you're not really you know, fine. hard you for me, because like I love a good blush. But it's fine because we are trying to recreate the look that she has here. And if she don't got blush, we don't got blush either. All right. But I am going to go ahead and spritz my face a little. Or a lot. And for my highlighter, for my highlighter, I am going to take the one from Her Cosmetics. Because this one is more of a light glow. And that seems to be what she has on her cheeks. So taking this little brush right here <gasps> oh my god yeah I'm being hella ugly today like I know I don't know I don't know what's going on but I'm just being hella ugly like like it's kind of normal all right so like don't judge me all right but anyways i think we have no we have not made it to that and i still need lipstick but let me just um let me go ahead and do that it appears to be that she has a nude lip so i'm gonna go ahead and just quickly line my lips with this nyx soft spoken lip liner So I just quickly lined my lips just because you know they were kind of disappearing because they were hella chapped hella chapped hella crusty so now for the lipstick I'm gonna go in with this color pop and this is in the shade naughty very nude very nude but it is a very nude nude like it literally looks like I have like powder on my lips but to top it off, because she does have a gloss, we are gonna go ahead and use this ABH uh, lip gloss, and this is in the shade Toffee. This is like one of my favorite lip glosses, you guys. Like, like, see, I'm conocen, you guys know I'm not a big lip gloss person, but this lip gloss is like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this lip gloss is like. So I did go ahead and apply that lip gloss and I went in with another uh, lip liner that was a little bit darker just to kind of give me more definition around more dimension just to give me a little bit more dimension on my lips because the other lipstick was really making me look like I had powdery lips <laughs> and that shish is not cute. Alright so this is the final look. Um, tell me what you think about it. Did I do Alyssa's look justice? maybe not but it's okay like i mean i guess it's all right it's kind of similar a little bit not really you know maybe passable obviously her work is her work and she is gonna be amazing at it because she created it i'm trying to recreate it the best of my ability with just a picture and it's not meant to be exactly the same and it's not meant to for me to use all the products that she used it was just meant to kind of try to recreate the look that she did because it was honestly amazing and very beautiful which i've already mentioned so we have made it to the end of this video hope you guys like this series if you guys are from the gr so grand rapids 
Michigan area and you guys have some uh, local MUAs in mind, go ahead and comment below those makeup artists so that I can go ahead and reach out to them to see if they are okay with me making a video about them. I have some more MUAs in mind that I want to go ahead and make videos of because there's so many talented people out here and you know they need to be recognized literally so hope you guys really like this series if you guys do make sure you hit the like button make sure you comment share subscribe if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe like join the fam like we can all be besties you know like just be part of the family but for the last shut up the fuck for the last question um i asked her what is what would you advise to someone who wants to start doing makeup she said, advice I would give to someone that's starting out with makeup is don't be too hard on yourself. We all start somewhere. Don't give up on yourself. Practice is key and YouTube videos are always are also a huge help. Also be your own person. Come up with your own ideas. It's just makeup. Do what makes you happy. I love that. She is right. She couldn't have said it better. Just go for it. If makeup is your thing or you want to give it a try, give it a try. All right, guys, so we did make it to the end of this video. This was a really fun video to film because it was really nice to kind of look at somebody else's work and just kind of try to interpret their work, you know, which is something that a lot of uh, makeup artists and a lot of creative people do. I mean, we kind of bounce off of each other's ideas. It is how, that's just how it works. But in this case, it was nice to literally go into her account and just grab one of her looks and just kind of go with it because she has a really, really good work. I've already said it, I've said it like a thousand times. Talk it, walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I 